Real simple shit. Super simple shit. So, did you press record or not? I man? did. So, are we on? Simple shit. Simple shit. Yep. Okay, cool. Um, Sup, you guys? How you doing? I forget that camera's there. That's what you pointing at me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, um, what were you saying about this fucking Yahoo Answer shit? Oh, yeah, man. There's just some really funny shit going on here, man. Like, all I did was, like, go straight to their homepage and, oh, come on, Chrome, don't do this to me. See? Um, Technical difficulties so again. First top question in the uh, popular questions in Yahoo Answers. If you watch the Cats movie, you're gay, right? Mm. <laughs> what? No. What? I don't think so because they make like in some schools they make you watch that. I mean, I, I've never once seen Cats. I don't think. Well, um, not that I've tried to avoid it actively. It's just it's, it's never crossed my path. Like no one's been like, "Hey, you want to watch Cats with me?" I've like, I've I'm not gay, and I've never seen. I mean, and I've seen Cats, actually. How is it? You seen the original one, right? No, actually, I've only seen that one song where they're like singing about "Touch Me" and you know what happiness is. Oh. Yeah. I've only seen like when they show like the trailers and stuff, like when they're like like there's a musicals coming through to town. They're like, "Oh, cats at the Orpheum!" And they yeah, and they dance and do cat things. And... <laughs> <laughs> no, nope, I don't remember that at all. Do that again so I can refresh in my memory. <laughs> 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 okay, <laughs> I think he yeah. You know what I mean, some memories. No, I mean I do. <laughs> um, I don't think it does. I, I mean, don't think it does. I don't think. I, I, well, here's the question: Why would it? Is it because it's about cats and they're dancing on stage, and you're watching a bunch of people like in tights and cat fur shit on their face and tails? That's like saying, like, if you go to see the Cats movie that just came out or that's coming out, what if one of the two? Is it out? What Cats movie? The remake. Are we, are we talking about the same Cats, right? Like, Yeah. The, okay. The and musical. They're, they're remaking it? Yeah. For theaters. Are they? Yeah. Okay. Well, so that's a bit of news to me. Have you ever seen a preview for it? Fuck no, dude. I don't watch TV. Oh, this like was right to the point I'm making. It's like it's like <laughs> saying that, like if you watch that movie, you're, you're a furry. Um, that is. Are they furries now? I mean, it's not people in cat suits no more. I can tell you that. Okay. Like it's some like some CGI like After Effects type shit where like yeah, they got the actor and it looks like they're like the cat person. Hey, cat man. <laughs> I'm Catman. I don't. I don't know if I want to watch that. Like, I mean, I like ballet. <laughs> Actually, I don't. The only, the only uh, ballet I've ever watched, like willingly, was like the Nutcracker, and that was only because I liked the Macaulay Culkin one. You know, right, right. So I mean, other than that, um, I can't say that I would would watch. I don't. I don't know. We should. I wish we had a gay friend here that we could ask that. Like, do you watch Cats? Um, I don't think anybody that I know that's gay would have ever mentioned Cats. No, not once. Not even once. Not even once. Can you name another like a uh, ballet musical thing? Uh, besides besides cats. Rent. Rent. Does that make you gay? Does that mean you have AIDS? <laughs> <laughs> okay, fuck it. Next question, dude. Okay, uh, let's see what we, we got. We have AIDS if we, if we watch Rent. <laughs> I definitely don't have AIDS, and I've watched Rent. Uh, here's here's one that I... Oh, man, this one's weird. Okay. I, I, I don't even know how to approach it, but like I hit it, I read it, and I was like, what the fuck? Approach it. Uh, since slavery, <laughs> since okay. slavery is a thing of the past... Isn't illegal? Isn't illegal immigrant labor the next best thing? That's a very good, good uh, question. Why would it be the next best, best thing? thing? Because you why can... wouldn't it be almost the same thing but with money? Well, exactly. But because there's money, not very much money. Well, there's still money, and there's more than what they're paying slaves. 
And yeah. they got to go back home. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> They're like, you get back in your fucking, you get back in my shed. <laughs> That's fucked up, you know? Yeah. At least they let fucking, like, Mexicans go back home. There was, well, um, there was some contractor that was, like, was his last summer, oh, yeah. two summers ago? No, yeah, yeah. And he, he had, had a bunch living, of like, on site yep. or, yep. like, uh, or at least, like, not, if not on site, like, near the site in, yep. like, another house that he had, yep. like, owned or rented out. And yep. they, were they weren't up. allowed to use, like, yep. the heat in this, uh, and they were, like, uh, or, like, the uh, stove to heat themselves up and... Uh, they couldn't use the hot water, none of that shit. You talked and, about that. That made me cold for a second. And uh, I think what was going on? So there was a. Uh, uh, he wasn't like paying their like insurance out. Like if they got injured and stuff, like he wasn't giving them like their workman's comp money and stuff like that. And like when they were like getting approved for it, like he was cashing the money in himself. Damn, it's fucked up. Guy's smart. No, it's <laughs> <laughs> fucked up. No, it's it's like a. Uh, uh, he, he did a lot of shit around here too. I think. Yeah, no, I, yeah, that's very. He's taken advantage of people who were definitely um, looking for a better life, mm-hmm. and they found him. <laughs> I don't know if it, I mean, I'd have been like the shittiest worker. I wouldn't have worked. I'd have been like, fire me, motherfucker. I don't know if you not worth that. If he would have killed you, who knows? Buried you somewhere in a swamp. Some shit. Or like a crag or some shit. Oh, oh, yep. Yep. Or of some kind of a, a deep hole of some sort. <laughs> a deep hole of some kind. <laughs> some, some, no, can't quite describe it, but some kind of pit, yeah. if you know what I mean. Exactly. Okay, <laughs> okay next question. What, what you got? That what is got? fucking weird, dude. No, you know, wait, wait. Let me get back to that. I don't, I don't think... You, like, okay, because, like, slave, that was legal. He said illegal. So the next best thing would be illegal slavery. <laughs> yeah? That's what prison is. Well, actually, no, prison is legal slavery in the Constitution. Yeah. Because they say that um, no one shall be enslaved unless uh, it's to be punished for a crime. Right. And that's how they get all their slave labor. Mm-hmm. Most people don't realize that. And that's when um, they started building private prisons and... Yeah. Like right after slavery, niggas was getting swooped up like quick as fuck. Yep. For little shit. Yep. And they still want they they're getting their fucking one hundred and fifty dollars a day or seventy five dollars a day or whatever mm-hmm. it is for your ass. So you may make sure you're in that prison. Mm-hmm. That's fucked up. The only reason that it's not really slavery now is because like people are getting paid to do work and like yeah, but it's not like much. But it's, it's not like a pennies. lot at all. It's literally fucking it's like pennies, like ten pennies cents to an the hour. Dollar, yeah. yeah, it's some fucking cheap shit like that. It's bullshit. Yeah. Uh, one person asked, "Who, who is yet who answers for?" I, I don't know. Let what kind of? This. I'm trying Let's to figure out what kind of people prim- primarily use this now because, like... Let's hear it. What would you do with illegal immigrants if you were president? Oh, my God, dude. What would I do with illegal immigrants? <clears throat> uh, I'd make them pay taxes. And then they'd have citizenship, right? Like, <laughs> <laughs> like That's more revenue. Do you understand? I mean, I shit. feel like it doesn't really... It shouldn't really matter that hard how you got here unless you were, like... Deported from like where you came from for like some kind of crime or some shit. Look, all I'm saying is make make them pay for a work permit if they're undocumented. Wait, say that one more time. If they're an undocumented worker, right? Mm-hmm. And they're just like over here, okay? Um make them pay for a work permit. So it's like a like a permit to even be here. Well, I mean, there's like a work visa and shit like that, but that yeah. even that's like a long, yeah, but that takes long a long process. Yes, yeah. exactly. What I'm saying, if they're already here, they already made their fucking way. I'm like, look, I know we got resources and this and that and the other thing. We just tumble them along in the system. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because it's more income for the system, anyways. How much does it? Is there, is there like a price to that? Like when you apply for a work visa, like, I know, like if you if you were go like honestly, I with I'm, the process I'm now, I'm legal. 
I've been legal since 1993. <laughs> no, I no, I'm know just kidding. This. Like, I'm just... No, I'm native, man. God damn it. <laughs> 1993. <laughs> um, actually, I think Native Americans became citizens in the 60s or the 30s or some shit like that. It's fucking weird. It's fucked up is what it is. It's just not that long ago. And not very long ago at all. Mm-mm. Mm. But I mean, I agree with you on that, man. Like, just pay like for a visa or like if you want to go the whole extra route and like get like permanent residence then like pay a little bit more get that either way right then you could pay taxes for the job that you do right and everybody wins exactly exactly and then then all those fucking people are like fucking illegal immigrants blah, 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 taking our jew <laughs> they took our germs I don't even like honestly. What is the big <laughs> issue with illegal immigrants? Like working here, honestly, because I actually have never asked that. And like, it seems to be the biggest problem for Trump supporters or, or anybody who voted for Trump. That's like their number one issue, is immigrants. And I'm wondering like why? Why is that the biggest issue? The job that they're doing, you didn't want in the first place anyway, because you're a spoiled brat. You know what I mean? Like, well, what? yeah. Well, I mean, but I honestly don't know. I still don't know what it is because, like, most of these people who are talking about not having jobs have jobs. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, okay, so you got a fucking job and Mexicans are taking your jobs. How? You know what I mean? And it, it, here's the funny thing is that, like, I've never heard a homeless person, like, out on the street downtown. Talking shit about, like, Mexicans taking Never. Never, never heard a homeless person be like, Mexicans took our jobs. Right. <laughs> the only thing and I you would think that they'd be like, if that was the popular opinion, you would think homeless people world, like nationwide would be like, they took our jobs. But they don't. No. They're just out there just living it up on the street. They're like, my dog. <laughs> I can't find my dog. <laughs> <laughs> Asking for cigarettes. Hey, shit. man, help me out, man. I need like 58 cents, man. I'm just <laughs> they don't give no fucks if you're Mexican or not. No. Nope. Matter care. of fact, they love Mexicans because Mexicans be giving good tips and money. Word? I'm not kidding you, man. I've, I've worked with Mexicans before. And like, say we're driving the truck and we pull up to a stoplight and there's a homeless dude. They'll fucking hand give him a bunch of money. They'll just hand him like a $5 bill. I looked at Lewis one time like, you gave that motherfucker a whole $5 bill. Like, I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have no money for lunch. <laughs> Help me out, right? <laughs> Shit. But yeah, and like when we go to restaurants and shit, ship and shit, um, a lot of Mexican people I know tip are like twenty percent or fifteen percent, sometimes right. more. They're just like, bam, there you go. So you know, it works. Here's a here's a here's a I don't that's a really loaded question. Okay, are they right, Yahoo? <laughs> okay, it's it's a. It's a two-part question. Okay. I need to, I need to know who posted this. Is this anonymous? It's probably. This is a dude. I okay. feel like this is like some kind of white knight. No, that's an answer. Who posted it? Oh, it's an answer. Doesn't even say. That's kind of it's kind of fucked up. But uh, it says, do men accused of rape even deserve a trial? Why not kill them on the spot? That's the dumbest shit I've ever heard. Like, I feel like everybody deserves due process. Isn't the whole thing, like, innocent until proven guilty? There'd be a lot of and dead And it says dudes. accused. A- yeah, accused. accused. Yeah, there's a lot of bitter bitches out there that would say some shit. I had a girl that was mad at me mm-hmm. and tried to say I gave her HIV and shit. She doesn't have anything, right? So she went and reported me to the CDC, and I had to go get tested and everything to prove. I I just went and got tested at the fucking red door, like, maybe, like, six months before. So I was like, I know I'm clean. My record should already be in there, but, you know, fuck it. I'm like, because I know this bitch is bitter. Right. And that was the only person I was with. So she tried to make it, like, like who the fuck else am I in sleeping with? Like, nobody. I haven't slept with anybody else except for her. And then she tried to fucking... And then they tried to hit me with this fucking letter and shit. And we got tested. I'm clean. I'm like, I knew it. I knew it was her. And then like, That's fucked up. And you know what? Like two years later, she's like, um, 
I know you know you're okay now. I'm like, what do you mean? She's like, I know you know you don't have HIV. And I'm like, yeah, I know I didn't. And she's like, I'm I uh, I'm the one who like reported you and yada yada yada. I'm like, really? Like I didn't know. I was trying to pretend like I did. <laughs> like, I was like, yeah, no. I figured it was you, but it's fucked up. Like, that. That's but see what I'm saying? Up. A bitch That's would some do dirty some dirty shit. Sh- it is. A bitch would do some dirty shit. She tried to get me scared and fearful for my own life because she thought I was cheating on her or some shit. When we when we had a bitter breakup, Mm-mm-mm. I was like, I'd never cheated, so I was like, my soul was clean. But they, it was like a requested thing, like they wanted me to go get tested, and shit, to prove that I wasn't or some sort. Got this big old envelope and everything. I was like, what for the a f- letter? No, it was a, it was a big fucking like Manila envelope. The big old thick package with pamphlets and everything. They shipping you off to war or some shit? Like- exactly. <laughs> like what the fuck is this? So I went, I went and got tested, and I was like, fucking clean. I was like, what the fuck? Like I was, I got tested six months before, um, because I thought she was cheating on me. Damn. So there's a whole lot of mistrust in there, right? In that uh, relationship there. Well, I was right. So yeah. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> but yeah, no, that's fucking stupid. That's like the most ignorant shit I've ever heard. So, um, what would be the equivalent for women then, like? That woman tried to kill See, my I child. Don't, I don't know. It's fucked up because she had an abortion. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't know because there's kind of a a, a, a double <clears throat> standard of sorts. I would just call it a double standard. It's a reverse double standard. So like, uh, when when I was in like some what was like fuck grade, like definitely like deep into high school, like, um, I had a teacher who told me that uh, there's some weird law. I don't know if this is state or federal or not. But he said there's a law that's like that, or it's not even a law. I think it's just like something in court. Like I don't know, but all I know is that he said that uh, uh, if if a man accused a woman of rape, and even if he was like dead ass serious, like it happened, and um, like like the uh, uh the uh um, uh everybody knew that like this lady was guilty, except for maybe like the jurors and like the judge and whatnot. Like um, if if the man like admitted to having an erection during the act then there's like a 90 percent chance that like uh that the uh the defendant would lose the case because uh he he got aroused yeah but that doesn't work the other way if a woman gets wet that it's just a response right i don't know it's that's fucking it's just it's kind of it's weird it really is weird i don't believe a man i don't what is how would i say this yeah, a man can get raped by a man and by a woman, and a woman can rape a child. A man can rape a child. You know what I mean? Like it's mm-hmm. all the same. Like it's unwanted sexual. Like this fuck up people across the board. Yeah, like it's not just like one group of people. <clears throat> but um, just on a, on an accusation. Um, I think. I think it may. It may validate some looking into, mm-hmm. but not murdering a motherfucker. That's the no, dumbest definitely shit. Definitely not. That's ridiculous. That'd be like that'd be like like the sixteen or the the fifteen hundreds and sixteen hundreds where they're like, uh, uh, Goody Sprout's a fucking witch, and they'd come and hang your ass or burn you at a stake or throw you into the water or whatever mm-hmm. they do to witches. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's just so irrational. Well, I mean, like, like okay, if, oh, okay, about like back way back when, like. Uh, slavery was still a thing, and, what and uh, like black folk weren't supposed to like read or write or like anything like that. And right. they'd just be like, "This nigga knows triangle," and then just, that'd be the end of that. Like, right? Mm-hmm. And then they would just see a native running, and it would be like, <laughs> <laughs> "There's no accusations needed." It's like I want his space. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny you bring up because I just found this question. I don't know if you saw the face I made earlier, but. Because the favorite answer is like a fucking novel. You see that shit? Yeah. But uh, You're not going to read that whole thing, are you? No, God. I'm just going to read the question. Okay. Uh, I will say the favorite answer is, absolutely. And based on blah, 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 blah. That's as far as I'm going to go. But <laughs> absolutely. Who was Yahoo answers for? <laughs> I'm listening. 
do the Democrats want to take gun? <clears throat> Excuse me. Do the Democrats want to take away guns from gun owners? I don't know, because I'm neither Democrat nor Republican. Um, and I don't. I've heard like campaign shit, and I believe. It may just be campaign shit. I don't know. The world's a really sensitive place now. Like, America is a really sensitive place. Um, half the shit that we talk about is probably going to upset a lot of people. Mm-hmm. Even if we are joking, you know what I mean? Um, so, when it comes to that, like, hey, what do you think, man? <laughs> I, don't I, don't think really, I don't really think it's... I don't think that's the case. I don't think that anybody's trying to take that doesn't matter what party they are you yeah. know what I'm saying because I mean there's some Republicans in favor of gun control there's got to be at least like one or two yeah there's um, a few I think uh, I don't pay attention but to them I don't think much. that anybody's trying to like take away guns from anybody like it's 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 not constitutional um, I can tell you there's been a lot of shootings there's been a lot of fucking shootings I, I do feel like that there should be some form of better regulation over who gets to be responsible for guns, you know what I mean? Um, or at least some way of preventing guns from getting into the hands that shouldn't be ha- on them. Um, right. And I don't mean like no minority report type shit, like, because you can't predict who's going to make a, commit a crime, you know what I mean? But right. like, at least find a better way to keep kids away from guns or uh, find a better way to keep illegally purchased guns from being illegally purchased. Um, well, that's... And that starts with you as a person being responsible for your guns and like locking them up and shit like that. You know what I mean? Um, well, here's the thing. I think most of these guns that are done in these shootings are from the people who purchased the guns. You know what I mean? Oops. Except for, you know, like obviously school shootings and shit mm-hmm. like that. But, um, like I said, most of the people purchase those guns. So, yeah. And it, well, I mean, and a lot of the same things, like, where, like, a lot of kids who ended up shooting themselves accidentally and shit, like, that was usually either at their homes or because they wanted to show off to their friends, because, oh, I got my dad's gun. Or they would bring their dad's gun to school and shoot their kids. But, their again, friends. that's that's the gun owner's responsibility, like, right. lock your shit up. Right. And that's the first step to preventing that shit, in my opinion. I don't think that, and, again, about, just going back to what I was saying earlier, I don't think anybody's trying to take guns away from anybody. Right. Um. Uh, I just think that. No one's found a halfway point into finding that solution just yet. You know what I mean? And it doesn't help that um, there are certain members of, like, Congress and Senate that are, like, kind of lobbying with the NRA um, who's, like, I'm not anti-NRA um, because I do agree that, like, you know, like, it's if it's your constitutional right to bear arms, you should be able to do so. But I'm not out of control with that shit. Like, I'm not going to throw a fit because if... Uh, there was like a rise in school shootings and everybody was like, we need better control over guns. I'm not going to be like, they're taking their guns. You hear that, Molly? They're taking their guns. <laughs> no, I honestly, um, I'm I'm a little disappointed about like, because I don't even need a bump stock to make a semi-automatic fucking automatic. Yeah, I just hold it the right way with my fingers stiff as fuck and pull it forward and that bitch will fire like that. Mm. Um, or use my belt loop. You know, you don't get very much accuracy, but that bitch will fire fully automatic. Like, yeah. Da, 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 da. <clears throat> um, the whole bump stock thing, it was just like a technical way to make your fucking gun fire fully automatic. And um, there was just their, their loop around. But I honestly, um, I don't think we need those kind of guns as citizens um but right Wait, now which kind of guns now because all listen, right remember there was like that whole campaign against assault weapons yes which are no different than like hunting weapons really like uh they, well some of them yeah some of them aren't different like okay so like ak's sks's i've i use those for hunting they're not very good right for hunting because most of the time i have to go looking for that fucking deer if I miss the heart, most times I'll hit it and that fucker will still run. I've never had to deal with that with, with the thirty thirty, And that bitch drops dead. Like, boom, one shot is dead. 
Um, but it's uh, not like you can't can't go hunting with those kind of weapons. You know, you, you I mean? can't. Like, I mean, yeah, you can go uh, hunting with no one's any fucking buying like a fucking sixty cal and taking it out into the woods. No, <laughs> I mean they're taking thirty odd sixes though, and fucking seven millimeters. I mean that's a well, the bullet's not very big, but the fucking power behind it's like mm-hmm. insane. Um, so yeah. There's a lot. Well, of I mean, isn't that what you want with hunting? Those like stopping power. Yeah, you do, but and a lot of those don't have like that kind of stopping power. Most of those just go through, and they do some really bad damage. You would think it it does some serious shit, but a, a hunting rifle, like take a like I said, like a thirty thirty, or like a hunting round like that, in a fucking soft tip, that bitch will fuck you up. It will it will murder you dead. It just because it's meant to drop you dead. Right there, but most of those guns aren't meant to drop you dead. They're meant to fuck you up. They're meant to just damage you up, get as much lead out there as possible. That's why if you look at most AK-47 bullets, they're like bullets. They're <laughs> bullet. <laughs> <laughs> they're um, they're like uh, full metal jackets. They're not like hollow tips and shit right. like that. Um, hollow tips mushroom up. They do. They if you use a hollow tip. It's similar to what a hunting rifle, like a, like a thirty thirty, mm-hmm. what that would do, um, but most of them, like if you, those full metal jackets, they blow straight through and they do. Some they damage. bounce around and shit like. A- I I don't know. I've never had one bounce around. Oh, well, actually, I I did. I shot one and it hit the hip bone when it was running and ran up the spine. It was crazy, but the thing lived. I mean, it was alive when I found it and I had to kill it. Um, but I don't think we should be able like I don't think those guns should be legal for people like ARs SKSs I honestly really but listen at this point yes I do but I don't think we need them um I mean we shouldn't need them let me get let me so can I interject for a second real quick like so wouldn't that mean to uh say that like we would have to somewhat alter the constitution then because in that kind of um, affects like the people's right to well, form militia. That's, and things where, like that's that. what I was getting at. Yeah, my whole point was we don't need them, um, right now because there's not a huge conflict. But if something does, we're gonna need them, right? Mm-hmm. And we, th- I don't give a fuck who you are. We are not in that kind of environment where shit is peaceful. It's not that fucking place. We're not the. We're human beings. As far as human beings have been alive. There's been war. Mm-hmm. I'm almost fucking certain of it. Um, before white people were here, tribes were fighting. You know what I mean? Right. Uh, it was like everywhere. Chinese fought Chinese people. <laughs> I mean, Africans were fighting in Africa before white people showed yeah, up. Yeah, everybody like, was killing everybody all the fucking mm-hmm. time. That's what we do. Now, I think if you take away people's ability... Um, like guns, they're gonna figure out the easiest way to kill people. They don't got guns. Motherfuckers can make bombs now, like easily. You there's, want? There's countries where like they don't really use guns that heavy, and people still get stabbed up and shit. Oh, like... dude, yeah. There's <laughs> in London that dude stabbed up a bunch of people, mm-hmm. and that was just recently. There's been a bunch of stabbings here. I think Japan gets like stabbings and shit like yeah, that. Yeah, like... I I will go back to that one case where that dude stabbed like twenty, thirty people in the fucking hospital, and then went home. And then turned himself in because they couldn't find out who did it. What? Yeah. <laughs> and that happened in Japan. You know what I mean? So it's like, motherfuckers want you dead. They're going to figure out a way. Right? And and mass stabbings are going to turn, if, if they want to figure out something else, they're going to do some other shady shit. Um, I wouldn't, I'm not going to put it out there, but I have a few ideas of, of like how you could do it. <laughs> 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 so you know what I mean. I don't want to. I don't want to say like give the blueprints on how to kill a bunch of people, but it's possible without fucking goods. And you're gonna start making people be creative on this shit, right? Is that what you want? <laughs> Do you want them to be creative? Because I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't want to see what they're gonna come up with. Like who who knows what they're gonna get? Some searing gas or some the, some. The ninja will rise again. Hmm. <laughs> Could you imagine a motherfucker uh, got some toilet cleaner and some bleach 
and do it together. That happened in a fucking Burger King. Oh, yeah, like some simple green. No, yeah, dude, that fucking... happened in a Burger King like a month or two ago. Did you did you read that or hear about no. that? It happened here, I think. Um, a dude, a manager, and some other like I think it's just a manager. Maybe it was just one or two people died, but a bunch of people got fucked up from floor cleaner and bleach. That's ammonia, yeah, yeah, ammonia and bleach it's fucked up. Yeah, yep. it, and that's that's simple. And it's like if you go to clean the bathroom yeah. with it, yep. you're in a confined Jasper, space. Jasper mm-hmm. tried to kill himself in the bathroom by accident. He was like, he had just cleaned the toilet, right? And then he thought it flushed enough, and he dumped fucking bleach down it, and no. it came right up, and he was in the bathroom, and his lungs were burning and shit, and he came coughing and throwing up like, Damn. And I was like, what the fuck? He's like, I'm going to die in there. He's like, turn the fucking fan on. <laughs> yeah. So there's there's ways. And then that's real simple to fucking do. Mm-hmm. You just create a way with where you can make those two readily available liquids. Don't do that. By the way, yes. <laughs> do not. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, but yeah, just the people are going to get creative. And then there's, it's that simple. Mm-hmm. Um. And uh, what were those things called when uh, not everybody was able to get guns that easy? Uh, zip bangs. You know what I'm talking about? They had like uh, it was like how can I describe zip it? Like bangs. It was like a piece of wood or some shit, and like a nail and like a rubber band and a bullet and some. It was like a weird like oh, homemade yeah. gun type mechanism. Yep, yep. They could do that. I I know how I've seen. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you ever seen those uh, the pipe guns, basically? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you just slide the fucking fucking pipe into the the shotgun shell, and poof, and that's like un- shotguns. You can't like if you were to take a shotgun, twelve gauge, and show blow somebody away with it, a buckshot, they're not gonna be able to tell who the fuck did it. Right. Because there's there's no repeating a pattern. You know, <laughs> the shit comes out in random. Shots. That's it. Um, and there's no mark. There's no rifling on it. The only thing they got is the casing. So if you're using a shotgun, especially like a double barrel, you walk up. You don't need a lot of rounds. You just go boom, boom, and you leave. And you can at least hit a couple of people. Maybe kill a couple of people. If you're close enough, you can definitely kill one person and then turn around and kill another person. <laughs> you might be able to kill a couple of people at a time. How bad could, I don't know if I should be asking this, but how bad does a potato gun hurt? It'll fucking kill you if you are not careful. Are you serious? I am dead ass. Because I mean, like, we've shot, like, inanimate objects with potato guns as yes. kids and stuff like that. And yes. we're like, dunk, dent, yeah! But I've never, like, Dude, been hit with one, thank God. It, <laughs> it, it, can, it can kill you. It, do, it really? do, doesn't necessarily mean it will, but it can. If it hits you, like, in the wrong spot, you're fucking dead. But otherwise, you're getting jacked up. You're getting a fucking bruise. You're getting wrecked. <laughs> <laughs> it hurts. It's not a nice thing, dude. Why would you ask that? I just curiosity. What about what? Okay, so what if I went on a rampage with boat and an arrow? Yeah, because they used to. Because my people used to kill a bunch no, yeah, of people I'm, with I'm those. I'm like wondering, like I mean, like that could happen. We got crossbows and shit. Like, yeah. that's really inefficient though. Like reloading one crossbow and putting a bolt in. And no, but firing. yeah, I mean, like, does it, does that count as a gun or an armed weapon? Mm, well, it's not a firearm. That's what I mean. A firearm. No. Like a. Nope. That's not a firearm. Hmm. There's no fire whatsoever in that arm. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing. But what if I said fire as I. <laughs> uh, I would be like, what? <laughs> no, it doesn't count. Okay, it's not a firearm. I did. I did. I did. Okay. Next question. Uh, I don't know which one to pick first here. Uh, I think that we realize Democrats aren't trying to take guns that, that we know of. Okay, I'll, I'm gonna start with this question first. Just to get it out of the way. Yeah. Because I think it'll be a quick one. But uh, do you think Donald Trump will be elected to a second term? That is very possible. I feel like I. There's a big part of me 
that says no. Yeah. Just because of all the controversy over the last, like, couple years or so. But, uh... Man, does he know how to stir up the wrong kind of people. Yes, he does. <laughs> and there's a lot of those wrong kind of people. Mm-hmm. And then there's a lot of those people who who don't realize... Um, they don't realize, like, exactly what's going on, mm-hmm. I think. And, and I think maybe they just believe, like, everything that they're being told. You know, there's a lot of dumb people. There's a lot of racist people out there. There's a lot. Of, okay, so I we live here, right? And I've met a lot of people here. Yep. And most, most people I know are like, fuck Trump, right? But then I go to the working class. I work with working class people, you know, like roughneck dudes. And a lot of these white guys are Trump supporters. It's the weirdest fucking thing in the world. And they and me and them get along. You know what I mean? Right. And I'm like, ah, I'm, I'm, I'm like, fuck Trump. I'm like, fuck Trump. Fuck, fuck Hillary. Fuck, fuck, fuck Walter Cromkite. No, <laughs> I, I just like, I don't, I don't trust politicians. I don't. This is all one big ball of shit. Yeah. Man. Like nobody has real any real control over the vote anyway because like there's the electoral college, so if we were to remove that, then we'd probably have more say as the people. When it's you know it's like that whole we the people thing, like that, I think that's what one thing that needs to happen. Like way off topic, but like when you get rid of that dude, that solves a lot of problems because then maybe then politicians would be forced to like listen to us, right? Um, because then their careers would be determined by us and not them. Right. My great great grandfather was killing people and shit, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's not that long ago. <laughs> my great great grandfather, my great 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 grandfather, they was murking people. Because like I'm I'm from from Comanche, like from blood. Right. So like that's like they were the last ones to hold out, you know, or like one of the last ones to hold out. They old. We ain't going. We ain't going. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's um. That's why I'm shorter than everybody. I don't know if you noticed. I'm shorter than like all my relatives besides yeah. Manuel. <laughs> he's he's li- no, you guys. He's a little taller than you. Manuel? Yeah. No fucking way. Manuel is like right here. I swear he's taller than me. No. <laughs> Orlando was. Yeah. But not Manuel. Manuel's short. Maybe I'm tripping. Maybe it's been a while since I've seen him. Calvin may be a little, maybe as tall as me. Yeah, Calvin's pretty tall. Um, But everybody else is taller than me. My brother, my sister, my dad, and like, all, the, all the people out there. There's a lot of tall natives up here. Yeah. But you go south, they get shorter. It's funny. <laughs> but it's like, it's just like uh, wolves, right? Mm-hmm. So you take northern natives and you compare them to southern natives and then you compare them to Mexicans and you see the size difference. It goes down just like wolves. Wolves in Alaska are bigger than the wolves in like this middle part, lower part of Canada. And those wolves are bigger than the wolves that are found in like Minnesota, yeah. and then you go down to like Mexico or wherever, the, wherever else there are wolves, and they're like coyotes. That's crazy. Yep. The same thing with deer. White-tailed deer, are like fuck, two hundred, three hundred pounds up in uh, in in Alaska and Canada. Mm-hmm. But the same white-tailed deer here in Minnesota, one hundred fifty, two hundred max, maybe. Florida, like seventy-five to one hundred pounds, maybe. They're just wow. We, yeah. We little baby deer. Yep. <laughs> so I don't know That's how that works <clears throat> I wish I knew things about my people <laughs> mm. I know one thing <laughs> They have darker skin <laughs> uh, Okay so anyways Segue from that last question uh, it, Totally different person In 2016 Trump said Hillary was corrupt Because the FBI was investigating her Today he says the FBI was corrupt for investigating him. Is that a statement? 
that's a question. How is that a question? Wait, no, well, it ended with a question mark. That's how they got away with it. But then he says, why do conservatives tolerate these blatant double standards? I don't think it's a matter of conservatives. I think it's a matter of people in general because it shook up literally everybody who was voting that year. I think it's you know tribalism. I mean? It was a matter too. of who do we trust. You know what I mean? And it is tribalism. Yeah. Um, Democrat over Republican. Mm-hmm. Republican over Democrat. Doesn't matter if the bill's fucking a good idea. It's just if it comes from the other side, then you don't go for it. Like how the New Green Deal got shut down right. like real quick. Yeah. It's the dumbest shit ever. Mm-hmm. It really is. We we got these people in here, these fucking clowns. They're all fucking clowns. And they're all like families of clowns. <laughs> and they come from a long lineage of clowns. and We've been clowns for generations and we'll never stop clowning until the clowning is done. Yeah, until everybody is dead and we have all the monies. Next question. <laughs> It's funny you said money and I look. <laughs> Who is this for? Who are you for, Yahoo Answers? <laughs> I feel like this is white people so far. Maybe. I don't know. Okay, let's get this Because this can go either way with any any ethnic group. Maybe. I don't know. Depends on how big of a... Hey, we're being the racist. I think it's white people. It, it mostly is. I, I probably. I don't know. It could just be some people who just don't know. I don't know. <laughs> What they know, what they just want answers. It's fun to be a minority and racist. <laughs> <laughs> but another question. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's uh, <laughs> why do people? I'm sorry. Why do women feel so entitled to men's money? Oh, in those words, I don't know. You know what? That's probably the I that I haven't met very many women like that. Honestly, I mean, I've never myself dated women like that i've kind of a little bit i mean maybe one or once or twice i know but i avoid that shit i know a woman who at one point in time felt entitled to my shit right um had nothing to do with me as a man or her as a woman it was just a matter of how spoiled is this person? You know what I mean? Right. I don't think that um, that's a, a gender-based thing. You know what I mean? That's just probably solely based on the fact that uh, some people think that uh, because you had a relationship with that person or may or may not have had a kid with that person, that after y'all break up, that you're still entitled to their shit. You know what I mean? Um, and it has nothing to do with, with like, my situation whatsoever it's just i know like or like my situation with like children whatsoever i know other people who are just like that or like you've spent a lot of time with that person and then uh because you've been so generous to a person after a certain point of time and they've grown fond of you and once y'all get tired of each other they still want to hit you up for shit as if you're supposed to be there for them and shit you right know what i mean and um you said you'd be there for me forever mm-hmm. like bitch you said you'd suck my dick forever and you always love me look at you now but um, <laughs> I, I think that's a mid. I, I don't think it's a, a, a gender based thing. I think it's just whether or not that person's manipulative because dudes do it too. Yeah, dudes dudes use women just as easily as uh, women yeah. use men. You know what I mean? Yeah. And um, I people are sleep on that shit. <laughs> I think, yeah, I, th- I think it's a money world right now. Mm-hmm. I, th- I don't honestly. I think everybody's mean. just trying to get in where they fit in. Like everybody's trying to skate through life instead of trying to earn their place in it. Right. Yep, hand me out. Yep, I don't say everybody, but there's a lot of people. Yeah, there's a lot. There's a of lot people. of uh, people who don't work, who are looking for that money, and they believe like they deserve it for some fucking reason. Mm-hmm. I'm like, okay. And you know what? With that statement, I still believe. <laughs> I still think we should have universal income. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still I'm still on the fence. Like wouldn't we run out of income at some point in time? Like or wouldn't there be like some kind of inflation? No, here's was... the thing. Why the fuck did is there a seven hundred and like eighty two billion dollar bill going towards more military funding in the Space Force? You fucking kidding Are they really still doing the Space Force thing? Yeah, no, it's a it's, it's our it's a real thing now. It is now. It's a 
They gave the money for it and everything. Oh, 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 oh. I'm telling you, I'm <laughs> quitting. I'm leaving you my house and I'm fucking going to go jump in the river. <laughs> They're playing too many video games. I just want to live by the water, bro. And then, you know, and they want to go fucking <laughs> blow some shit up in space. Yeah. Space. So, no. Okay, so, like, when there's billions of dollars floating out the door, mm -hmm. that's almost a trillion dollars, you know? Blowing out the door for some shit and more, what was it, benefits for federal workers. That was another big chunk of the money, or a good chunk of the money. They they have the whole thing broken down, and I don't agree. Like, it's all military funding, basically, and, and that. And um, the the uh, benefits for federal workers. Um. And that's for like paternity leave, like twelve weeks. It's a wild idea, but like, and what, I don't know how effective it would be. But what if every government office that dealt with things of uh, national security had like one civilian liaison that when they made requests to the government, like for like more funding for other like operations or military actions or whatever uh, that civilian liaison which is basically be like you sure we got the money for that? <laughs> but that, they, that's just a regular dude like they just show up like once a week and they just go I don't know and then they go back home and watch Seinfeld reruns or some shit <laughs> are you gonna listen to the dude who watches Seinfeld? like what the <laughs> fuck does he know? Uh, probably about as much as their financial advisors know <laughs> Um, honestly, we have people like that. Um, they just, everybody gets corrupted. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Um, I think there needs to be a transparency on, on their spending. Because in, in reality, if we're, we're losing, like, set, three trillion dollars went missing during the Bush administration. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And that's just before 9-11 happened. Seven, like three trillion. You know how much that is, right? That's a lot of fucking money, right? And and we're, we're hemorrhaging money, losing money. We're misplacing money, misspending money, misusing money. And we're worried about not giving our citizens 1200 bucks a month. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, if you keep track of all your fucking money, we should be able to do that. That's no, that's no big deal at all. No, well, that's the thing. Like, with the amount that we all put in like, and we have put the math in. Math is there. Yeah. And, and here's the thing. Everybody thinks, like, oh, all of our taxes are paying for this. No, bitch. What do you think all the fucking our fines? Are, our taxes are paying the debt that the federal government owes. Yeah, we got fucking uh, uh, sales tax. We got motherfucking property tax. Mm -hmm. We got income tax. We got a fucking pay for permits to work on shit we gotta pay for licensings we gotta pay our fucking fines we gotta pay our fucking bills that we they t take and fucking pay for our insurance pay for our our fucking our insurance premiums right then our and then on top of that we gotta pay our our co-pays mm -hmm. we gotta pay for every fucking thing and they just keep siphoning more and more money out of us right and what are, where's our benefits bitch it's time for our fucking benefits fuck that they're fucking us. You get your benefits when you retire and you get your social security, which ain't shit because it's not enough to live off of by the time you're like 65. And that's, I mean, and really you would have to be working like a really good fucking job and putting in a long ass yeah, time to put in good money into that social security. Mm -hmm. You know, like what the fuck? I ain't working no factory <laughs> for no 50 years. <laughs> <laughs> it's retarded, dude. I think if we clean up our government spending and do this whole transparency thing, um, get rid of the gridlock in between the legislation, you know what I mean, like in the, the Congress and the House, if we can get that dumb shit broken down and them to agree on shit, mm -hmm. we'll be straight. And we can just smack the president around a little bit. <laughs> I don't even think we should have a president anymore. I think it's dumb. We should demote him to mayor. Demote him to mayor. <laughs> I think we should have like, like like I was saying before, four. Yeah. Four, four people that can take care of the four separate parts of the United States. 
and then we could have like a, a midget to represent like Hawaii because it's not part and like Puerto Rico. Hawaii is a state. Yeah, I know, but Puerto Rico is like not. I feel like Alaska is like Puerto Rico because it's way the fuck up there. <laughs> it's, it's like Russia. Do you okay? Here's a question. What? Because you have to cut through Canada to get to Alaska. Exactly. So, do you need a passport to go to Alaska? No. So then how the fuck do you get there? You fly over Canada. But what if there's a layover? You lay over. Well, that's international. Right. So then I would need a passport. No, I mean you don't need it. Like I think because like you can't leave the airport to go to another country. Unless you're going to your own country. No, well, I, at the, in the layover, you can't leave the airport. Yeah, you're you stuck. You stay at the airport until your next yeah. flight shows up, and then you can leave. Unless you have a passport. Yeah, just like that dude who had to live in the airport. Otherwise, if you That's left. how that works. Yeah. Like, you're sure? Yeah. That doesn't so sound right to me. What if, what, if, what if someone is trying to kidnap me at the airport, and I have to leave the airport? Just briefly. Then you're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> you're... You, yeah, you better hope the TSA is like, here, let me hold your balls for you. <laughs> You're safe. <laughs> it's weird. Yeah. It's good to know, though. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'll go to Alaska soon. I was thinking about it. Here's one thing I need to figure out, and this has nothing to do with Yahoo Answers, and we'll get back to that in a little bit, but is it true, people keep telling me this, and I've never asked a person that's actually lived in Alaska. Oh, if you get paid? Yeah. Is it true that you get paid to live in Alaska? I think so. No, you don't. Yeah, you do. They give money back to their taxes. In their taxes. Like, a good amount of money. How often, though? Once a year when they do it. So, it's just a normal-ass tax return. Yeah. It's It's like saying you get paid to live in Minnesota. Yeah, but you get more. (laughs) You get more. In Minnesota, Minnesota. So, like, so Colorado just has better taxes. Way better well, taxes. You get more tax because of the revenue from marijuana. Yep. Yeah, so. because they're taxing weed. Yeah. So they. And what I'm saying, it's still more money. Yeah. You get more money. So they give it back to their so what if I just moved there? It's like the same concept. I don't think so. Exactly. Like you better have a job there for a while. I heard a, in Alaska it's a little bit different. Like you have to have a job and you have to have. Yeah. So is that why they do that in Alaska? Is because of the whole legal weed sitch out there? No, no, that was before that too. They did it. It's just to have people to live out there because there's like enough. Yeah, they need income. There's a ton of people out there. Yeah, because of that. Just in those concentrated cities, they're like population wise. So are they paying you to live in the woods, or they pay you to live in the city? It doesn't matter where you live in Alaska. I don't fucking know. I think this is something we should research at some point. Look it up right now. <laughs> this fucking dude. <laughs> no, I'll look it up later. You're always on your phone. You're worse than a teenage girl. I'm the I'm the, I'm the only one looking up is, these questions. Is that a bad thing to say now? What? You're like a teenage girl when you pick up your phone. Cause I, see, I like, laughed that shit off because somebody got mad at me in the middle of an argument via text. And instead, I got tired of texting after like 20 minutes of it. I was like, I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. I don't even know why I'm doing this. Fuck it. So anytime they had something sideways to say to me, I was going to respond with a fucked up gif. And that went on for like another 15 minutes. And it was actually kind of fun at that point. And then um, uh, the, my last response I got from that person was, why you keep sending me all these fucked up ass gifts? You're like a little teenage, you're like a little teenage girl. You're a little bitch. Uh-huh. And so I said one last gif. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> oh, it's fucking, it's the best. But I don't. I just feel like uh, when people say that shit, they're just uh, really mad and aren't in their head. I, well, I'm, what I'm saying is, like, I see everybody. I see fucking, like, 20-year-old dudes, 30-year-old dudes in their phone all the fucking time. But when we get a better setup, then this will be fixed. <laughs> what we really need is a Jamie. Young Jamie. Remember? We had a Christopheles, but then he just disappeared on us. Yep. Or a red band. We need a red band. Yeah. Yeah. Are we taking applications? I don't know. Are we? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <mean>. <laughs> we can't pay you, obviously. Right. 
<laughs> we ain't got no money. <laughs> no. If you can't tell, this is like homebrew. <laughs> uh, okay, so. Should we do one more? Yeah, we, uh... sure. All right, cool. Sure. I don't know if I want to do that one because we already did a lot of political shit. Oh, let me. I'm tired of the politics, man. Fuck politics. We got to vote next year anyways. What's up? No, I'm just squinting because I'm nearsighted. Oh, I thought you saw something interesting. It's hard to tell sometimes. Okay, this one's really funny because... um. I keep yawning, bro. It just doesn't make any sense to me, like, why anybody would start asking these kind of questions. And I hear it a lot, and I've heard it a lot over my life since I was a kid, but it's just funny when people still ask it as if it's, like, a brand new concept. When did men start getting vilified? When did Except men? Except he spelled it villainified. <laughs> when did men start getting vilified? Hmm. Has it been vilified? Has it been a vilification? I don't think that that's the case. I think I, that, and I don't even think that it's men. Toxic masculinity, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think men specifically are being vilified. I don't I know. Think men who are villains are being vilified. No, I see some shit that's really ridiculous. Like, okay, how come every fucking commercial with a man and a woman in it, the mm. man's dumb as fuck and the woman's correcting him? How long has that been going on? Forever. I don't, I, I don't watch commercials. But no, in, on the radio. <laughs> on the radio and on fucking TV, like everything. The like man's always the dumbass and the woman's like, you big dummy, let me show you how it works. Wasn't that like the reverse in like old TV though? Yeah, back in the 50s, it was like the woman's dumb. Oh, give her the broom. You know? Now yeah, she but, at the same the time, but at the same time, there was some other shit going on in the background outside of TV. Like, what like women couldn't vote shit like that. yeah that's what, like, I'm you know what I'm saying so like yeah um, it was it was it was keep a woman in the kitchen type ads make your woman happy by buying her this broom or you know that type of shit mm -hmm. get her what she really needs an oven right so that, why is this a brand new question you know what I mean it's like, not like, it's it's the because the shoe's on the other foot and it's been on the other foot for a long ass time yeah so I don't I it's it's for as long as I can remember. When it comes to a man and a woman relationship, like in ads or, 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 or things like that, man's always, you know, the dumbass or the bad guy. Like if you watch I, NCIS or anything like that, most of the people are bad guys doing bad things to to women or men or, or vice versa. And I will say that there are some people who um, will lump men into a into a general group as villains just because of based off of like their past experiences with like a small handful of men that might have been the uh different from the last one at first but then turns out being the same type of dude every time you know what i mean like just like a general asshole and um maybe because of those experiences happening so uh consecutively and in such a brief window of time she just thinks that that's how all dudes are maybe this happened at a younger point in her life that kind of thing um or his or her life sex is a spectrum uh <laughs> um you know just what if what if you know it's just based off of past experiences and they're just unwilling to see what the other side has to offer you know what i mean that kind mm. of thing um is that really some kind of vilifying Probably not. I think it's just distrust at that point. No, I well, like, I see like the all men are pigs, all men are trash, all men lie. Like I see like all of these memes and like all this shit all the fucking time, and I'm like, it don't get to me because I know that's just bitter people being bitter people, mm -hmm. and I know it don't matter what kind of fucking crotch you got, whether it's fucking lips, a dick, or both, your ass is probably a liar. <laughs> shut the fuck up. Um, yeah, I mean, really. And, and here to go back to that one question um, about if you're accused, if you're a man and you're accused of rape, 
should you be murdered on the spot? Now, what happens if you're tra- if you were a man at one point? Uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, what the fuck? What if? Here's my thing: is that it's, it feels like the whole Salem thing. Like you're accused of being a witch. Okay, so we just answered Burner. right there, right like, there. That, who the fuck was asking that question? Isn't that vilifying men in in some sort of way? If they're accused, they should be murdered. Yeah. Okay. So yes, I I. But I don't think when did this start happening? I don't, think, I don't think that it's in, in that question specifically. I don't think it's men being vilified. I think that that's those type of men being vilified. Like well, anybody can be raped. Like literally, no, yeah, anybody and, and can that's, be. That's, so those type of people should, if that, if by that logic, those type of people across the board should be murdered on the spot. I don't agree with it, but by that logic, what by what that person's saying, like then that's what their mentality should have been in that question. You know what I mean? Like you can't just, like here's one. Uh, if if uh, if 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 a uh, if a white man uh, steals from an all black store, should he have his fingers chopped off? Like, that's a dumb question. Like, it's... Should he, uh, he? Well, see, he got caught for the crime. So, yes, he should. <laughs> <laughs> but if he got accused, let that motherfucker go until you can prove some shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> Let him keep his fingers. I don't know, man. This is a very general question, or specific ge- question aimed towards, like... A general group of people when it shouldn't be. That's what I don't. And like I think about general. It. The only thing like, there everybody's vilified. Well, no, I take that back. I mean, in small groups, you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. Everybody hates everybody. So there's people who hate transgender people. There's people out there who hate gay people. There's people out there who hate me. There's men who hate women and women who hate men. Yeah. Uh, women are like men are pigs, and men are like these bitches is crazy. Men are like bitches or bitches. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. Honestly, I think it's just like that type of thing. Um, yeah, we get to see it more, but because it's more readily available, but we get to see mm. all the other shit too. So it's not like whatever you're paying attention to is kind of, you can, you can be in your own bubble. Right. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. There's, we have the technology. <laughs> we have the amount of people. You can you can reside in your own personal space bubble on the internet and be okay. Um, you can have all that fucking uh, opinion bias in your all that shit and all your friends who agree with you. Do you really want to spend that much time in your safe space though? You know what I mean? Because a lot of people do, and that's just... why and that's why we are where we are. That and participation ribbons. God damn it. <laughs> we all can't win. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's not possible. That's the other thing. Mm-hmm. Like, it's just not possible. Um, there's no way we're all going to be millionaires. There's no way we're all going to be famous. There's right, no way right. we're all going to be remembered. And that's that, heavy. That is. That's really heavy. But it's true. Yeah. It's true. Like there's there's no guarantee in life that says that uh you're gonna be an overachiever or an underachiever or famous, infamous, or any kind of notable for that matter. You know, you're what guaranteed I mean? that that's about it. hmm And then the, and struggle. Everybody's guaranteed some kind of like struggle in their life, you know what I mean? The really and, dark part is like over time. It's like you would have never existed. <laughs> like, no matter how fucking big you are, unless you're Jesus or like Alexander the Great or somebody, because most people get forgotten over time. Mm-hmm. And and there was a before. I honestly believe there was a before ten thousand years ago. You know what I mean? I believe like there was shit beyond. There was like civilizations way back. And the you know how many people came before us? Do you remember their names? Uh, Dave, Bob, Jim, Chuck Woolery. Is he still alive? I think so. I think so. I think he's still alive. <laughs> but he came before us. That's the point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but before them and before them, and then you look at time going by so fast. Like I was saying, just like four generations ago, I had people running around on the fucking prairies, 
hunting buffalo and it's shit. Not that long ago. No, that's four people ago. Yeah. Not yep. trying to like steal jokes or no shit like that, but like it's, I like that math. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it wasn't that long ago. We, I, I was, my people were on horses, and we were shooting bows and arrows and shit. Dude, it wasn't that long before. Uh, I don't know. I can only assume that when, when did it was slavery on the west end again? Part of Africa, supposedly, doing some kind of Western African thing. When was the exact um, date slavery ended? Ended? Yeah. It's hard to tell. Uh, what year? The Emancipation Proclamation didn't necessarily end slavery. It just said that slavery needs to be abolished. Um, and I don't uh, listen to hip hop. Not all the states ratified. To this day, like there was still like two, like like in the nineties, two states had just ratified the uh, 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 abolishment of slavery. Uh, I forget what those states were. But they're probably shitty states, but uh, in Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I forget what year it was. But it it didn't happen because everybody thinks it was like around Juneteenth, whenever like the word had spread that the Emancipation Proclamation had, you know, been a thing. But that was just a campaign strategy. Um, what really sealed the deal for Lincoln was like uh that constitutional edit that we have now. Um, that says slavery is illegal unless it's a form of criminal punishment. Um, and that went through like several different edits uh, because they were still trying real hard to keep slavery just sort of kind of legal. Right. Um, and even then, after slavery was abolished, like it was still happening low key um, under the guise of indentured servitude. So um, it's really hard to say when it ended officially. But. Um, I don't know if you watch both the fifth column on YouTube. I forget what year he said it was. I think it was like 1880 something. Like, but it was December, so around like this t- time of the year, a couple hundred years back, is when it was officially documented in the Constitution that uh, slavery is no more. But um, I don't think it really officially stopped until. Because I mean, there are people that I know to this day. Um, my grandfather said that he was a slave. My dad's dad said he was a slave. And um, at first I was like, you ain't that old, Grandpa. But he firmly believes that shit. Um, I know that uh, my stepmom's got uh, grandparents that were like definitely like just fresh out the slave game. You know what I mean? So, um, but I mean, that's as far back as I know. And it, those people aren't even really related to me by blood. You know what I mean? So um, I don't know much about my mom's uh, dad's side of the family as far as like her family history things like that and right my biological father's family i only know so much so it's really hard for me to even try to look on my family tree to be like well when were we free as a family you know what i mean mm-hmm. um it's really really uh well you can go back touchy subject with a lot of people in my family actually <laughs> Why can't they just? Why don't you like? How far back can you your grand your great grandma? That's about uh, as far back as you can go. Yeah, I think my grandma can my 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 dad's mom my father's mom can go back about as far as like her either her grandfather or her great grandfather one of those two she says was Native American. Um, I think she can go a bit further back than that, but I don't know. I really got to start doing some research. She should do some 23 and Me on your shit. It's on sale right now, man. I'm, I'm thinking about doing it. Right. I'm, I'm hella curious. And um, that'll hella. link with people on uh, Ancestry.com and shit like that. Ancestry? Mm-hmm. I can do further research. 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 Yeah. Research. 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 <laughs> That's like sure and sure. Are you sure? Sure. 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 <laughs> I don't know too many people who say sure. I say sure. But only only when I'm being pretentious. <laughs> sure. Sure. <laughs> it reminds me of um, Lex Luthor. Because that's how he says it in Smallville. <laughs> God damn right I watched Smallville. 
It's good drama. It's good. Good. I loved that shit growing up, man. Oh, yeah. I was already growing up by the time I saw it, though. I think... I don't even remember when it came out. I just know I have all of the seasons. Well, you want to you wanna shut it down? Yeah, shut this fucking um, down, man. Mostly just because I got to pee and my mouth has been dry as fuck for like the last 30 minutes. Yeah, I've been yawning. I'm kind of tired. Maybe next time oh, we should... Oh, you're with the sweepy. He needs a nap. Yeah, I was going to say, maybe <laughs> next time we should do this when it's not nighttime. I drank a shit ton of coffee today, man. And I shouldn't have because I'm just like, ha! I am not. <laughs> I wish I would have. Well, thanks but for watching, I, you guys. I'm not drinking sugar, dude. That's a mistake. Dude, I haven't Actually, drink, it's probably a good thing. Like three days, I haven't had sugar. Not even eating sugar. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling very, like, drag ass. Like, I'm tired. I'm worn out. You gotta have to... Your, mo- your, your, mor- your mortal soul grows... Or your mortal form grows weak, and you must... Give it sustenance. I'm, le- to- I'm trying my best not to fucking have any sugar. But yeah. Anyways. I'm <laughs> waiting <laughs> on sugar. Okay. Once again, thanks for watching. Peace. Dude, I want some Cheez-Its. You got some? I hate Cheez-Its. I love Cheez-Its. You hate Cheez-Its? Fucking, Cheez-Its. fucking terrorist. I am American. <laughs>